Hi, this is James from Videoloft and today we are looking at Starlink for video security. The system is plug and play. You can install it yourself or have an electrician put it in for you, but it comes in a box and inside there you'll get your Starlink dish which is pointing towards the constellation of satellites in your area. You'll get a router which is providing the Wi-Fi connection uh, and the uplink to the dish and then you'll get it supplied with one of the many stands and mounts available for Starlink. It actually comes with this one which is something of a temporary stand which is just useful to help you orientate the dish for best uh, signal coverage in your area. Once you've found the best location for your antenna, you're then going to use one of the mounts that you have to buy from Starlink directly uh, in the final position of your dish. One of them is for putting on a wall where there may be a soffit or a gutter in the way, and so it extends the dish away from the side of the building. Or you can have it on a pole mount, uh, which is useful if you're trying to get to a very high height or away from the property uh, or a construction site. There is also a slightly shorter version of this stand available which we're using at this location and we'll have a look at that a bit later on. The other key piece of equipment you need to order as an accessory with your Starlink setup is an Ethernet adapter. Uh, frustratingly, the Starlink router does not come with an Ethernet port, it's just Wi-Fi, so you need to plug this little dongle in and that will give you Ethernet out, which is useful for connecting to your switch, uh, especially when you're running lots of security cameras. In terms of the service, uh, the uplink speed we're getting at this site is 60 megabits per second. You're getting 250 megabits down. That's not really relevant from a security point of view, but 60 up is an incredible amount of bandwidth. To put that in perspective, that means you could run up to 30 cameras in 4K resolution up to a video loft cloud over a Starlink connection. The location that you're at will vary in terms of the geography and the constellation available so it's worth doing the survey in the Starlink app to see how much data you've got available before you commit to how many cameras you're going to run but certainly uh, you know a few cameras up to uh, low tens of cameras is going to be fine. For setting Starlink up with Videoloft it's super easy it's just like any other install you're going to install the Videoloft cloud adapter and you're going to run the installation which will discover the cameras on your network and it's a seamless one-click install process. There's really no difference to installing Videoloft over Starlink from any other internet connection. One of the big surprises we found when using this system is the latency. The latency is the light speed delay from the cameras to the satellites and back down and from our testing we've seen that the latency is basically negligible. In the event of a service interruption, so that might be Starlink doing an update or a service to their satellites or something obscuring the antenna temporarily, the Videoloft cloud will record the video locally on the cloud adapter and upload that video seamlessly once the connection has been restored. At this location, for example, the installation was first put on the temporary mount in order to locate the antenna for best coverage and then during the time it was relocated to its permanent position on the edge of the carport, the system was disconnected. All the while, Videoloft was recording 4K video on multiple cameras to its local storage, and when the connection was restored to the Starlink network, the backlog of footage was uploaded immediately. So for the construction industry, where you don't always have the services or the connectivity in order to get decent uplinks to the cloud, you can now combine Starlink with Videoloft to get high performance video surveillance to your site. With this combination, you can now achieve 4K video, pan, tilt and zoom, 24-7 monitoring, wherever your construction site may be. If you live in North America, right now you can get the Starlink service for RVs, motorhomes and vans. It will be rolling out to more countries and regions in the future, but right now it's just limited to North America. What this means is that you can now get high speed internet wherever you may be. So you're on your, on your travels, you find a place to camp, deploy your Starlink antenna and you've got incredible amounts of data available to you. It also means that with Videoloft you could now bring video surveillance to your mobile home wherever you may be. 
So now for some of the quirks of the system. Well, there really aren't that many. Most of them are during setup when you're using the app. Sometimes it gives you a little bit of misleading information about whether the dish is online or not. Just be patient, take your time. It will eventually sort itself out. The other thing to bear in mind is that when you do a speed test from the app, the button that you first press is a very rough measure. Actually, what you want to choose is the option below that for advanced because that will let you see the speed from the satellites to your router and then the speed from your router to your phone. If you just use the basic speed test, it's really only telling you how good your Wi-Fi signal is between your phone and the router. And that can give you a misleading idea of what the performance will be when it comes to video cameras over a satellite connection.